already on your way? Okay. The man you're meeting is 37-year-old Michael Kenneth. He is physically disabled and unable to work. Also, his wife and son sadly died in a car accident two years back. Ever since then, he's been depressed about the situation and openly expressed feelings that he failed them. Now remember, this is not considered a safe zone. There are hostiles in the area. You don't have much time to get him out. By any means necessary. Mr. Kenneth, my name is John Steele. I'm from the SRF. You're in danger and you need some medical help. I already told you people, I ain't... Now, I, I understand, sir, but you need to come with me. You being here puts you at more danger. I'm not in danger. I'm perfectly fine here by myself. I've defended myself against those things. Your physical health is already bad enough. If you just allow me to come in and help... Fuck off, I told you. Michael, your brother asked me to find you. My brother? Nobody's talked to my brother in years. James Kenneth, right? Oh, fuck you. That's just a name. Why should I believe you? He has a tattoo of a cross on his left chest. He's got a tattoo on his chest. Left side. Michael, I know these are difficult times for you. It's difficult enough with you assholes bugging me all the time. I know you're on disability. Your health doesn't look like it's getting any better, and you haven't left the home in weeks, I'm guessing. I'm fine. I don't need anyone looking after me. Excuse me for a moment. Tracy, what's up? Sorry to bother you, uh, but we have a bit of a situation. What is it? You have hostiles heading towards your location. You have less than 10 minutes to get him out of there. Got it. Look, we need to leave now. This area is getting too dangerous. Doesn't matter. What makes you think you can help me? Look, I don't do this because it's my job. As a kid growing up, I didn't have any help. I used to be as helpless as you. I wasn't questioning your pride in your job. I was questioning whether you could really help me. Why don't you think you're worth it? I haven't been worth it since my wife and kid died. I was supposed to pick them up, but I got off work early due to the snowstorm. So I was at home waiting for them. The storm got worse over time. Then the phone rang. Mr. Kenneth, your wife and child got into a terrible accident. I'm terribly sorry, Michael. I should have just picked him up. Their car didn't have four-wheel drive. It's not your fault. My brother moved away before the accident. Everyone in my extended family put the blame on me. That's not fair. Yeah, well, life isn't fair. I lost two of the most important parts of mine. If we can get you out of here, we can return you to your brother James. You can start over with them. Talk to me, Tracy. Can I get close here? What is it? Two bogies on the property and heading your way. Shh. Okay, Michael, we gotta go. Now. Well, where's Michael? No! Michael! We're getting out of here now. Alright. Let's go. Excuse me, I gotta go take a leak. Tracy, we have a problem. What is it? It's Michael. He's coughing up blood. 
maybe he's got a bug. I noticed that the house, his hand, it's wrapped up. There's blood around it. I think that's where he got bit. Damn it. You'll have to check it to be sure. If it is what I think it is, you'll have to make the decision. Understood. Let me see your hands. I knew you couldn't help me. I just want to be with my wife and kids. I just couldn't do it myself. Sorry, I couldn't save you. Just do it! Tracy, it's done. Are you okay? Yeah. I wish I would have known it sooner. Not everyone gets it on the first try. Tracy? Hey, sorry to disturb your sleep, but something has happened and you need to hear this. I'm sending you an audio recording now. This is Chris Oliver. I'm currently under attack. 